I'm in Tiverton at XYZ's headquarters. I'm about to talk to Nigel Atherton about a brand new range of machines. They are the TMC models. So Nigel, firstly, I'd like to find out um, why, well, tell me what this TMC range is before why you launched it. Ah, the TMC stands for Tool Room Machining Centre. And basically, we've had Prototrack since 1993. There's been several resolutions of it. And, um, but they've all been open architecture, bed mills and turret mills. But with the TMC, we've got an enclosed machine with a tool change on. Okay, so why would someone opt for one of these as opposed to what you would have classed as your previous Prototrack models? Well, we're going to continue with the previous Prototrack models because some people like that kind of machine. Uh, you can often put a bigger, a bigger piece of material on the table than, the, than you could in this equivalent size TMC. But the TMC gives you the ability to contain coolant, contain chips, um, also it's got a tool changer on it. So it can be a safer and more clean environment for a factory. I suppose the enclosed environment has advantages and disadvantages. Like you say, if you were using the Prototrack machine, you can put maybe longer and bigger parts on, can't you? Which you couldn't do on this, but yep. equally, if you want to keep you know, contamination away from your shop floor and all the rest of it, these machines will be perfect. That's, a, that's, a, that's the real difference. Yeah, that is the, re the reason we've gone that route. Um, we think legislation in the years to come will make these machines the, the way to be. Just that people want to sometimes use a tool changer. Prototrack was developed for low volume, one, onesie, twosie, perhaps 10. Whereas with this, we can go to medium and larger batch ranges. And I notice you've got hand wheels on here. Um, I know it's obvious, but do you want to describe why they're there and what they well, purpose they serve? Well, we think that the people who are really going to be interested in this is the thousands of Prototrack existing customers. And they're using a machine and they've been using, they're using hand wheels. And with this, they'll be able to use hand wheels again. So they'll be able to treat it as though it was the bed mill that they had before and, and literally wind through either the X, Y or Z axes or they can track, which is where we, we put the program in, we wind the hand wheel and the, the, it runs through the job at the speed you wind the, the hand wheel. So if you reverse, the, the, the machine will reverse through the program. Okay, and how many models then are there within the range? There's four models in the range, but also we've put the RMX on the two op. Okay, so what are the differences between the, mo the models? Can you maybe just give us a brief overview? Yeah, well basically we've had for a number of years now, in fact five years, we've had the LR range, which were our linear rail machines. They've been proven very, very popular. Um, we, we traditionally only had box wave machines. We introduced the LR range, linear rail, and there's four models and um, they've been really, really popular. We've sold hundreds of them and um, we've taken that iron and put the, the Prototrack control onto that iron. So it's well proven iron, it's a well proven control now. The RMX is three years old and we've got, uh, we've got options for, the, for customers. Okay, and, um, and what are the actual models labelled? Yeah, there's the uh, 500 TMC, the 750 TMC, the 1000 TMC, and the big one is the 1600 TMC. And the, the number depicts the x-axis travel. What about the 2-op? I believe that's included too. Yeah, well we did have the 2-op and it was a, becoming a very popular seller and the idea is it's a second operation machine but many people bought it thinking that they could do, um, uh, because it had a tool changer, the eight tools, they thought they could um, use it for production jobs and we discontinued that because people didn't like the basic control that was on there but now we've put the RMX control and it can do everything that a TMC can do and everything that a bed mill can do. Um, let's talk about this control then. Um, we've mentioned it, but we've not told people why they should be, it should be of interest to them. What is good about it? Well, the RMX is a control that's been around three years. It's the latest evolution of Prototrack. Anybody who's used Prototrack before will know how simple it is, and this control is just as simple. There's a few extra features that it can do now. The really nice thing is that it's touch screen. 
So it means that you can interrogate the screen easier, you can whiz through the program backwards and forwards. You can use the gesturing to explode the view and people who are used to using iPads and things like that, it'll become second nature to them. Well, if you've already got a Prototrack machine, you'll be able to take the program out of that milling machine and put it into the TMC. So if you want to do bigger batches or you want to use more tools on the job, you'll be able to go straight from the old machine to the new machine and it'll be much, much better on the TMC for bigger volumes.